in this lecture uh, we are going to see how the partial payment works in sap so let's go to slash n not slash n directly go and post one invoice i will take the same date and we are making a partial payment and give amount as 37000 gl account as 4 and the amount as 37000 cost center us rent and save it so this is the invoice which we have posted. Now let's go and swatch FBL one and report. So in the FBL one and report, uh, we have thirty seven thousand uh, thirty seven thousand as my open invoice. So now I want to make as a partial payment. So partial payment, let's say I received uh, eleven thousand. So after making of 11,000, how much will be the balance? We will have a balance of 26,000. So let's try and do the partial payment. So for partial payment, we'll go to F-53. Okay, here we have done uh, all the basic information we'll fill. Partial payment. And the amount I'm going to make a payment is, uh, let's say 11,000, we'll going to make a partial payment and give the vendor here and click on process open item. So sometimes what will happen is it will select, it will show all the selected items. So first I will select all and I will deactivate all. Okay, so it will not show all the line items, which is so it will clearly show the amount which is required for me. So 11,000 is my partial amount. I'm going to make a payment. So I want to make a payment against what? So I want to make a payment against this 37,000. So double, double click on it. So it will show as 37,000 is my uh, invoice and out of which 11,000 I am paying and 26,000 till yet to pay it. So here I have two options. One, I can make it as a residual item. Uh, I already created uh, uh, how to clear the residual item. So now we are working on partial payment. So go and check for uh, double click on partial payment here. So partial, when I click on the partial payment, so it is showing me as a 37,000. So what you have to do is remove this amount from here and now click on double click here so when you double click here so it will show as a 11000 as partial amount okay just go and and here it will show as a zero amount and go okay. and save this document so the partial payment document has been posted now we'll go to slash m FBL one and report and execute it. Here you are going to see my 11,000 amount here. The 11,000 which we have. Yeah, sorry. So 11,000 uh, which we have paid as a partial amount and 37,000. So it will not clear your uh, 11,000 with 37,000 amount. It will show both line item as a open items. Like it will show in your debit balance and it will show your credit balance. So the net off will be 26,000. So, so that is how the uh, partial payment works. In the partial payment, what will happen is it will not clear any items. Unlike uh, in the residual item, uh, residual item uh, earlier invoice, which I have shown, I will execute all items also. So I will just want to show the residual. So this was the rest. Uh, this is the residual item I have posted. And uh, against that, there are some partial payment has been done. 
So the partial payment has been cleared and the pending amount was shown as a open item here. But unlike partial amount, so the partial amount, what will happen is it will show both the amounts. The amount which I have paid, like 11,000 has been paid. Also, the amount which is uh, came as an invoice. So both the open, both will show as an open. In the residual item, only the pending item will show. Thank you.